It's as sincere as it can be today with the opening and the cracking of all of this bleeding out. But every day, we'll see where it goes because I want to see, is he going to own what it's going to take to really step up and be the person he needs to be, clean himself off, and move forward? It's easy to be remorseful in the spotlight, but at the end of the day, are you going to be honest with yourself and remorseful with yourself and really do that hard work? Can this young man turn this around? I mean, is this a defining event in his life, or can he overcome this and, and get some traction in this world? It's up to him. Does he want to be owned by himself? Does he want to connect his head with his heart, walk forward, and do the things that he preaches about his church and about his family and the things that are important to him and be himself? Or does he want to continue to use this as a way to manipulate through the systems? Coming up. These are voicemails. Are these you? The truth behind the voicemails. Uh, I want you to do the voice for me. I don't feel comfortable doing this on TV. Okay. If you're covering for someone else, I just want the truth. If that is you on those voicemails, then prove it. We now return to Dr. Phil's interview with the man behind the Manti Tail Brand Company. And told him that you're sorry for what you put him through and that you forgive them for being less than perfect because they weren't there to protect you at the time that these things happened to you. I mean, have you said that to them? Yeah. When I came clean with them, I looked my dad straight in the face and I told him, you know, I'm sorry. I, this just got out of control, but I, I let him know that, you know, and he asked for my forgiveness, handling it as a youth pastor at the time, not being more careful. Because with 12-year-old logic, he went through a lot to keep you in his life. Wasn't rational, but to him it was. And that's how important it was to him for you to be there. He said, I will let you do these things to me if it means I keep my dad in my life. And um, that's tough. that says a lot, though about what you mean to him. He admires the two of you greatly. You came full circle and you were honest about that. From this, I walk away knowing who my true family and friends are. And one of the biggest things I can say I walk away from this is I pray and I hope that for any other children who are out there, if something like this happens to you, and I know it happens to so many young people. Just know that you're not alone. Don't be afraid to reach out because you know, your family, they're there for you. And as shameful, as dirty as you feel, you feel so guilty for things, you're a child. And the thing is, if you don't reach out for help, for me in this situation, I started off as a child with a lot of anger and confusion. And because I didn't seek out to help, because I didn't reach out and I didn't do that and handle that as a child, two people continue to live their lives not knowing the damage that they did. And that angry child grew up to be an adult who was still empty and made horrible decisions and hurt people. I've confessed to the people that I victimized. And so I came clean with my family, my parents. I have their forgiveness. I pray the best and wish the best for Manti and his family. I wish harm on no one. Coming up, is he really the voice? Hey, man. Um, I'm just calling to say goodnight. to the man behind the Manti Teo girlfriend hoax comes clean. Now, as the story continued to unfold, messages left on Manti's phone by Lene surfaced. Renaya's attorney said they were Renaya, distorting his voice to sound like a woman, and Renaya swore it was him. News outlets analyzed those voicemails and said Renaya was lying. They were a woman's voice, not a man. The mystery intensified. Was this some sort of elaborate plot between Renaya and Manti? Was Renaya deceiving Manti alone or with the help of a female co conspirator? We had a control no one else had. Renaya's voice from my interview. 
We sent that to three of the country's top forensic voice analysts. They compared that to the messages left on Manti's phone to determine if it was the same person. Based on that comparison, our experts said, no match. You need a score above 60 to call it a match. According to our experts, there was a difference in pitch, formant, the acoustical resonance of the human vocal track, and gauss. Mixture models for speech recognition between the two. Other acoustical, oral, and spectrographic procedures were also performed. Now, I confronted Renaya with these results, and I'm telling you that the best scientific analysis in the world saying it is not you. These are people that do it for the FBI, they do it for the Secret Service. It just shows that our country isn't as safe as we think. But he was unrelenting. He was adamant that it was him. Okay. So when you left that voicemail, that's you. That's me. If that is you on those voicemails, then prove it. You just do the voice. Now, I was very concerned that Renaya was giving me excuse after excuse when I asked him to do Lene's voice for me. I don't feel comfortable at all doing this, you know, on TV. Okay. If you're covering for someone else, a sister, a cousin, or whatever, I don't care who it is. I don't want to go years from now and people are still YouTubing and making jokes about it. I have to say, I understood that. But he agreed to do it from behind the screen. He did the voice. Turn it light off there. Ready? When you are. OK. <clears throat> hey, babe. Um, I'm just calling to say goodnight. And I love you. I know that you're probably doing homework or with the boys or grubbing <laughs> with a fatty. But I just wanted to say I love you and good night. And I'll be okay tonight. I'll do my best. Um, yeah. So get your rest and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I love you so much, hon. Sweet dreams. Hi. I'm just letting you know I got here and I'm getting ready for my first session. And I just want to call you and keep you posted. I miss you. I love you. Bye. I don't know who answered your phone. And I don't care. This is my last time trying. You made it clear what you want. Take care. Now, when I asked him, he said he did feel uncomfortable doing the voice, even from behind the screen. It's different when it's done in the dark and then when you're completely truthful about it and you come out. It's painful. Um, it's hard to bear. It's hard to accept, but it's the truth. OK, so we now have three new samples, and I sent those off to be analyzed as well. Now, this time, they came back with a much closer match, but still nothing conclusive. So we have 87%, 40%, 48% not conclusive. So to be completely fair, we needed to allow him to do this in his environment, where he says the calls actually took place. So to eliminate any doubt, I sent my trusted and experienced producer to his home to get one last sample. This time, we're somewhere that he does feel at ease, a place where he had done the voice countless times before. Now, my producer took Renaya's phone away checked for any devices that he could have access to, and then gave him her phone to use. We wanted him to not have any chance to manipulate this. She then sat back and watched as he recorded his female voice through the phone by calling back to our audio booth. Hey, babe. I'm just calling to say goodnight. I love you. I know that you're probably doing homework or with the boys or loving Patty. <laughs> I just want to say I love you and good night and I'll be okay. Um, I'll be okay tonight. I'll do my best. Um, yeah, so get your rest, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. And I love you so much, hon. Sweet dreams. Hi, I'm just letting you know I got here, and I'm getting ready for my first session, and just wanted to call you and keep you posted. I miss you. I love you. Bye. I don't know who answered your phone, and I don't care. This is my last time trying. You made it clear what you want. Take care. We sent that final recording you just heard to be analyzed as well. 
this time there was no question. Match, match, match. 87.9%, 100%, 70.54%. Three individual labs came back with the same results. They all say with scientific certainty that Renaya Tuyasasopo is the female voice in those recordings. One of our analysts, Kent Gibson, even said, and I quote, Renaya can manipulate his voice without using a voice manipulation box or device. It is a true talent. I've never heard someone do this before. When we come back, Renaya's final message to Manti. You know that Manti is watching this interview. And I want you to look at that camera. Not as Lene, but as Renaya. And say to him from your heart what you have to say. I can never express how sorry I am for everything. I know I put you through a lot. I'm just very sorry for everything, not just affecting you and hurting you, but hurting your family. I know the depth of the pain that I caused, and I pray that you can forgive me. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Maybe you've already done it, and maybe you never will. My deepest, deepest apologies, and God bless you all. Well, there you have it. We often say at the Dr. Phil Show that we believe that this is a safe place to talk about hard things. I think we gave Renai a platform here where he was treated with dignity and respect and had an opportunity to tell his story. We presented the facts. You've heard Renai's story. Was he sincere? You can make up your own minds, but what I can tell you is that this is a young man with a lot of issues, and only time and history will tell if he really did come clean and tell the truth like he said he was going to do. I'd also like to add that due to the sensitive nature of Renaya's story, after conducting the sit-down interview in my home, I invited Renaya, along with his parents, psychiatrist Dr. Charles Sophie, and his attorney, Milton Grimes, to the studio after a few days' break to review the edited version of that interview to confirm that all parties, especially Renaya, had had a chance to sleep on things and were comfortable with the content. They all said they were very pleased. Now, I would especially like to thank Dr. Charles Sophie. He has not only devoted himself to guiding Renaya through this difficult time, but he has worked tirelessly with me to help Renaya tell his story. Now, Renaya is still a very young man, and I believe with help and commitment, he can turn this around and go on and have a productive and rewarding life. As to Manti, I am convinced that he at no time had any knowledge of this hoax or was any part of it in any way. And I know that he is gonna go on to great and wonderful things himself. Thank you for watching, so long.